time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, September 23rd. S&P up 11, NASDAQ up 47, Russell down 8, Dow up 47, gold a little bit green, silver down 1.5%, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up about a third of a percent, oil down almost 1, natty gas popping up almost 8%, all the grains are green, euro a little bit red, pound a little bit green, Bitcoin up 1%, VIX down 1.5%, under 16, sitting at 15.91. I uh, did a 1DTE this morning at the open. Half of it I turned into a an upside vertical. So if we expire above 57.40 tomorrow, that would hit max. <clears throat> And I closed the other half out for 45%. Uh, I've been doing some, continuing to do some testing of some price action related BICs where I'm scaling out of some and but managing both the put and the call side. I've got a few call sides left. I've got this one that is still uh, up nicely. My regular Bix are doing well. I've had one from my morning tranche. I had one call stop out, one put stop out. All the rest are still alive, up about 2K on those. And did a little day trading, made a little bit of money this morning. But that's about it for me. Chad, how's your day? Man, it's been a really, really great day. You just, day like this, you kind of wish it would be like this all the time. Very... Needed price movements, been low stress. Uh, three trades, all winners, day trading this morning. And then my one DTE, put that on because the VIX was uh, up about a percent and a half or something like that. Uh, right when the market opened. Um, I ended up getting, I changed my, actually changed my profit target on my number one just because I started, it, it was decaying so quickly. Uh, ended up closing half at 40% and then got out of the rest at 60%. So really nice. One DTE. My AM number one um, booked 20, 40, 60, and 80% and out. And um, it's a little bit bigger profit because I'm just given the price movement and how wide it was. Instead of going 20, 40, 60 and out, which normally would be 5, 3, 2. I went five two two one. So on that forty percent, just closed two contracts. Still had three left uh, instead of normally having uh, only two left. So five two two one gives me a little bit bigger profit when you're having such muted price movement. And I really, I mean, I probably could have taken that iron condor and just booked max profit on it. Uh, and then same thing with my lunchtime number one. I'm I'm real close to booking eighty percent and out on that one. So it's going to be uh, two TLC trades. Um, is all, and uh, but it's going to be over five k in profits there. Another twenty, almost three hundred in the one DTE. So uh, between those three trades, it's going to be a really nice green day. And I I'm in a Wuga. That is uh, sitting pretty dead center. It's the it's on. I put it on actually a little bit earlier than you put yours on. That you posted your early wuga, and uh, I got filled for four twenty. Currently up forty five percent. So I'm not going to put on uh, a power hour trade. 
for TLC, just due to the fact that, um, what are we looking at here? Premiums. Pretty slim. Where are they here? Yeah. Uh, also, I probably got to bug out 10 or 15 minutes early. Stone plays in Maryville this evening football. So it's about an hour and a half drive. I got to get to that. So that's another reason I'm not putting on any power hour TLC trades, but uh, I'll just ride with my Wooga that I've got left. Yeah, my two Wugas, the one, the first one I put on <clears throat> is up nicely. Second one I put on is up a little bit. The old Mahomes flies could fill a little bit early today. Let's see what we're trading at here on the 15 butterfly. It's already at a buck 25. Um, also, my, my non TLC account, uh, I have this. Iron Condor on and I posted in my channel here, but it's it's looking at max profit. I, I didn't take any profit targets on it. I mean, it's 40 points wide right now. So, and then I have a Wuga in that account too. That is that one is the 15s and 20s. Which is the same as your second one. We've been just hovering on yes or Friday's high all day, <clears throat> really for the last hour. With very little range. Just been bouncing around Friday's high all day though. Uh, Kelvin, I entered my first one a, just a little bit before Steve did and entered my second one a little bit before he did. So similar times, it's just I was slightly earlier. And then I put on a one, two, one, three, yeah. one, four, two, three, and two, four double calendars today as well. No, nope, no three, four for me, Dark Avenger. We've got a six, seven, but the uh, from Friday, but we've got Powell speaking. So I just decided to lay off the three, four. Powell speaks Thursday, which would be the shorts. I think there's a lot of speakers this week. A lot of speakers this week. I don't really care about anyone except for Powell, but looks like the Friday options have expanded a little bit more than Thursday so far. So probably would have done good putting it on this morning. My six, seven from Friday is up about Four or five percent. My five seven is flat. My four seven's up a couple percent. My two four, two three, one four, one two, they're all pretty flat. Up a little, down a little. So uh, chess master double calendars, while typically if implied volatility declines after you put it on, a lot of times works against you, but it's really about how the implied volatility works between the front and the back. We, we're selling the front, buying the back. So we obviously want the front to contract quicker than the back.
we can expire between 10 and 15. That would be my ideal sweet spot without any big moves first. Oh, nice moral. Based on the way the Friday options have expanded a little bit. I was just looking at them Friday and they're pretty even. Now Friday's higher, so that makes sense. But that 3-4 would have done well. I kind of thought, looking at it last week, I kind of thought the uh, Thursday options may start expanding quicker because of Jerome speaking, but it's played nice. Early Luga is at 42%. Yeah, I'd take about a month of the price movement like it like this today. That would be nice. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty narrow. Didn't even come close to either the upper or lower expected move. Got up to, this morning we got up to about 57.26. Upper expected move is about 57.39. Got as low as about 57.05. Lower expected move is 56.85. I mean, this really kind of reminds me of like when I was paper trading last year at this time. Like I would sit here just like amazed that I was getting profits so easily and quickly. You know, it's like, there's got to be more to this than that. Biggest movers in stocks, Tesla is up over four, MU up three, Baidu up two and a half, Boeing up two, Baba up two, Amazon up one and a half. On the red side, DJT down eight. Google a little bit red. NVIDIA basically unchanged. I mean, I might have to start looking to put my Mahomes on here pretty soon. <laughs> this thing's already up to a buck thirty. Another big win for Mahomes and our Chiefs last night. Yes, it was. Man, we we're not dominating anybody, but we're getting it done. Yeah. I prefer just a smidge move lower. We get a big, we get a big move here. And by big move, I mean 10 points. It's going to take a lot of my big profits away.
So the rest of this week, as far as news goes, <clears throat> Tuesday, tomorrow, we've got Bowman speaking a little bit pre-market, consumer confidence 30 minutes after the market opens. Wednesday, new home sales, 30 minutes after the market opens, slated as medium impact. Thursday, pre-market, GDP and unemployment. And then a slew of FOMC speakers starting a little bit before the market opens all the way into the afternoon. Thursday is going to be interesting. And that's when Jerome talks as well. Friday, pre-market, core PCE price index. Yeah, I don't know. So Jerome starts speaking 10 minutes before the market opens. So we'll see what kind of price action we get. I may, I may skip my morning ones and just go afternoon or we'll see what happens. I haven't made a decision on Thursday yet with Bix. Yellen is also one of the speakers that day. Yeah, Jerome, I think I'd say Jerome's going to set the uh, set the tone. So what everybody else says probably won't matter much. Yeah. Yeah. If Jerome, if Jerome comes out and says, oopsie, sorry, I meant 25, that would, that would probably do something. So on toss, it's showing Thursday at 12% implied volatility, Friday at 12.68. So yeah, Friday's higher. What I was saying is last Friday, they were both equal. So Friday has expanded a little bit more. The gap has widened between Thursday and Friday a little bit. Officially out of my TLC, last TLC trade hit 80% and out. So with the one DTE, 76.85 today. On three oh, trades? Three trades. Nice. Well, and I and yeah, I've got I've got these uh two Wugas on. Well, I guess. Yeah. Wuga on in each account. Early Wugas up about forty eight percent. Yeah, when you can get 7,603 trades, that's limiting your risk. That's what I like about it the most when price is like this. Let's see, Jerome... 
due to deliver pre-recorded opening remarks at the U.S. Treasury Market Conference in New York. Okay, so no questions or anything. It's a pre-recorded opening remarks for a uh, conference. So that may not be much, but... See what Yellen's doing. Yellen due to speak at the U.S. Treasury Market Conference in New York. Still get it in on a straddle, Chad. Couldn't pay me enough right now. Guessing a straddle with 50 minutes left might hold its premium for a while. Straddle with 20 minutes left. Now that's a different story. Man, short butterflies are already up to a buck fifty plus. I may have to start closing some of this stuff out to make room. Yeah, that was that was another reason why no power hour for me either, because the price hadn't moved much for my Wooga and my Wooga was taking the the uh strikes. been a long long time since i've taken an am iron condor to max profit in my other account what time did i put that on put that on it Nine fifty a.m central The market been open for an hour and 20. The earliest I've ever gotten filled on a Mahomes fly is about 21 minutes before the bell. We might get that today if price doesn't move much for the next 30 minutes. On the two big sides that I got stopped at on, I had exactly zero slippage today. Yeah, you know, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have to uh, experience any stops today. Oh, good feeling.
Early Wuga is at 55%. I do not. I let my I let my wugus go, MNS. I just let him go to the bell. I may scale out of a little bit today. I've got a lot loaded up at these at this current price level though. And I'm seeing flashes of a buck sixty, a buck seventy for these short flies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of my other stuff to free up my strikes. Yeah, I'm working the uh, 15s and 20s with over 40 minutes to go. I'm sure it'll still be a while before I get filled, but got them working. Did not hit a new all-time high today. Thursday it hit True discount, very true. Yet.
Yeah, that think, straddle hasn't been losing much value yet. <clears throat> yeah, I was just going to say, I think if I was if I was going to play Power Hour with my TLC trades, um, you know, if I could stay all the way to the bell, you know, either the 15 or the 20, I think would be good to do. It really likes that. 57, 15, 57, 18, right in there. Sure does. So if you're someone that doesn't have a TLC on and you'd like to put one on, that's that's what I would I would be doing. I would probably give it, yeah. I mean probably give it another five minutes or so and see what the premium is. I don't have it. It's just the, it's the same thing. 40 Delta 10 wide, 10 wide, just entering at 220. The only difference is the uh, entry time. I think I have a three seven five minimum premium on mine. And that was every day, right? That wasn't just Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Yeah, if it's a if it's an up day. If so, if, if price is okay. up at least 0.2% from the open, then it's every day. Got but it. Yeah, every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, regardless. There's, I just posted that. There you go, Kelvin. That's the one I've been doing. That's the one I'll be adding to my plan for next month. I believe the uh, command tomorrow is GFY. I 
I mean, this is some serious paint dry action here. Yeah, it's been like that all day. I, I about noon I was thinking that, but then I was like, "Yeah, but this is how I like it." We had a little uh, fifteen minutes after the market opened. Flash Services PMI gave it a little, little spiky action. Can't really even see it on a five minute chart, but other than that, it's been tight, tight range. Yeah, Chris, I actually need to change my, I, I'll take it if it's at 0.2%. I have on my back test 0 0.3, but 0 0.2 is pretty good. Two is good enough, I should say. Short butterflies haven't changed much. Of course, we're trading in between strikes. Get to 20 or 15. I'd say they might be getting close to a buck 80. Price is a little bit closer to the 15s, but the 20s are trading a little bit richer. I'd prefer a slow creep up to 20, get filled, and then close a little below 15 would be my ideal world.
Yeah, anywhere between 15 and 20 is fine with me. I, I'd like it to stay below 20, though, for sure. I mean, that's for both my Woogas. The only other thing I have on is that AM Iron Condor in my other account. I mean, it it's it can move up to 57.40. It would still be max profit. Yeah, early Wooga is over 50%. OG Wooga hit over 40. Creeping up above 19. We sit right here on 20. That 20 butterfly could fill soon. Naughty Dog, you still wait until a minute, two minutes before the bell today for Mahomes? Even if you can get filled 20 minutes before? Naughty Dog must not be on here.
20 butterflies look like they're trading for a dollar 90. Kind of stopped on one of my call sides that had a 15 strike. Earliest I've ever gotten filled is 21 minutes till the bell. A little bouncy. Yeah, that 15 and 20 straddle, those probably would have been pretty nice by now. Probably at least 20%. Yeah, the 20 straddle is trading for about 460, so yeah. Yeah. Now this goes much above 20. It's going to take a lot away from my Wooga. So yet stay below it. Twenty butterfly looks like it wants to fill. No, it's not going to be a record entry time. Coming up on twenty minutes. Leaping back up towards 20, see if we can get it.
Back between strikes. I'll be right back. My early woog is up about 65%, and my OG one is – actually, that OG one was still a little early, but anyway, it's up about 50%. A little closer to the 15s. Yeah, early Woog is up Mine was 10 wide. Yeah, I was on the 10s and 20s for my early one. My OGs on the 15 and 20s. The 15s look close to filling. 15 minutes till the bell. Nibbling, nibbling on my 15s. Build two of 20. It's got to stay down, no bounce. Only two of 20 filled. Anybody else get a fill? Now it's back up to 17. I canceled my 20s. I wonder if I should put my 20s back on. Awesome. 
Calm down. Um, slow your roll. My bot filled on the twenties. Now I'm getting nibbles on the twenties. Filled on the twenties. So I guess I'll cancel the rest of my fifteens. All right, let's move back down. Back down below fifteen. Filled with 12 minutes to go. MOC in a little over a minute. Get a big cell number. Looks like it wants to go up. MOC here in a few seconds. One hundred million buy side. All right, little five point drop here. Mahomes has a full 10 minutes to do some magic here. Tens would be good for everybody then.
All the devil calendars showing a little bit of profit. Oh, except my one, two, my one, two is down 2%. Two Seven minutes. Early Wugas up 76%, other Wugas up 69. Five minutes. So on my Bix, barring something crazy, I had two call sides stopped. One of these was just uh, it's at 2.37, so about 20 minutes ago. Otherwise, all good, up 3,800, plus whatever these expire at, so about 4K. Assuming nothing crazy. Right in between the 15s and 20s. Creeping back above 19.
Eli, you should be close to getting locked. Let's get Eli locked and then head back down. One minute. Paint is almost dry for the day. 40 more seconds of paint dry. Well, you know, you think you get filled with 12 minutes. It's almost impossible not to move five points, but we've just gotten no movement today. Now we're going above 20. Oh, boy, this is getting looking like a not a good close. Ding, ding, ding. Looks like 18. Point six three. Fifteen should be a small winner. The twenties will be a little loser. My Wugas. Early Wuga, Max Profit. OG Wuga, Max Profit. Nice. Wuga came in hot today for plus 26, a little over 2,600. Bix came in hot for about 4,200. Mahomes couldn't convert. Otherwise, solid, solid day. All right, all. Have a good night. Chad will be streaming live at the Open for Mighty 90 and Runners. We'll be back for Power Hour. Take care.